Hot take, it's not even close anymore. With this latest ChatGPT update, this platform has just become so much more useful and powerful over Google Gemini. And I know that Google's Gemini keeps hitting these benchmarks and improving on paper, but as far as everyday users, it's not the best platform. It's not the one you should be choosing. So for instance, I can now take my custom instructions from my custom GPT. I can place them inside of a project. And whenever I'm having a conversation within that project, I can not only run those custom instructions, which in my case, many times or my AI workflow. So after an initial intake, all I have to say is continue. And it's going to give me an automated output based on certain criteria, prompts, directions I've already given it. And sometimes I would need to do research in the AI workflow and I would have to leave the custom GPT and go do a deep research elsewhere and then come back, but not anymore. Now I could do deep research right within the context of that conversation. I can then download that as a PDF and upload it as a file to the same project so that I never lose my deep research ever again. And the project can always recall back to those deep research search projects, as well as the other files that I've uploaded to give it a certain flavor to the conversation. But when you boil all of the updates down to the number one thing that ChatGPT is giving users over Google Gemini, it's, it's not even about which model gets the right answers on benchmarks. It's about the customization of the model to the person. There is no AI right now that you can personalize for yourself better than ChatGPT. You not only get custom instructions or global instructions over the entire account, but now you can create 20 different projects that have 20 different sets of instructions. You can upload files to those projects and you can customize each of those projects to have a different personality, to have a different conversation with ChatGPT. So even if Google Gemini is getting higher scores on the benchmark, no one's going to leave ChatGPT to use it because OpenAI is spoiling us with the ability to customize and personalize our accounts. If you think that I'm being extra about this update, then I don't think that you quite understand the possibilities that it's laid in front of us, especially if you're someone who builds with AI. I don't know where ChatGPT is headed as an interface in the future, but I know that the open AI devs are doing a great job with every iteration and it's only getting better. So big shout out to the open AI devs for making ChatGPT highly customizable, highly personable, and giving us deep research inside of projects as well as the other tools. So if you asked me last week, which AI should you you buy i'll be honest with you i pay for more than one and you can probably pay for all of them if you want they're not that expensive but if you had to choose just one it would still be chat gpt and because of the latest updates it would be especially chat gpt especially if you use your custom gpt instructions as project instructions run deep researches within that project save those pdfs upload them as files to the project and keep stacking the knowledge and conversations in whatever you're doing in that particular project. It's an absolute powerhouse. They've just placed so much space between them and any competitors that is not even funny. I really feel like the project's update was just that good and I really appreciate it. But if you got value out of the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, take care, have a good day, and I'll see you in this next video where I give you a full walkthrough of one of my custom GPTs that creates 360 content ideas and then turns around and creates the content for you so that you never have to worry about creating creating content. And I do it by using custom GPT instructions inside of a project. I'll see you in that video.